Welcome back guys. Tonight I'm making my home style rustic pumpkin soup. Okay, we're going to start things off with a little bit of olive oil. Don't need too much because we roasted our veggies off with olive oil. We're just going to quickly fry off our pumpkin and garlic a little bit more. Um, it doesn't need much as it's obviously already been cooked. So we just want to develop a little bit more flavour, just kind of everything gelling and hanging out nicely together in the pot here. Okay, we're going to add some spices. So I've got a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of MSG, teaspoon of brown sugar, um, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we just want to stir these and get them incorporated. We want to very slightly toast this off just to get it nice and aromatic. But again, we don't really need to cook it very thoroughly. Alright, awesome. It's looking great. So now I'm going to go in with a cup of milk, half a cup of yogurt, and two tablespoons of sour cream. So we just want to give this a bit of a stir, and we're going to bring this to a light simmer. We don't want it to boil. I will be adding a bit of water as needed as well, just to get the consistency we want. I always love roasting off my pumpkin when I'm making pumpkin soup. You can do it boiled and you know, you can fry it off in the pan as well, which does work, but I don't know, I feel like there's just some special flavors you get from roasting vegetables that you really can't get any other way. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So go easy at first and just see how it goes. And you can always add more as you need. So this is probably not a typical type of pumpkin soup. I really like adding the Greek yogurt and sour cream. I feel like it makes it incredibly rich and delicious. If you've never tried it, give it a go. All right, this has come up to a nice simmer now. So I'm gonna let this probably go for another minute or two. Then we're gonna blend it and we'll check for seasoning and see how we go. Now you'll probably notice that I the pumpkin skin on and the seeds in as well. Um, look, this is obviously a personal preference. You don't need to do that. I actually really like the flavor that the skin and the seeds actually add. Um, I've roasted this in the oven for almost an hour and a half on a pretty low heat, about 160, um, until they've gotten really nice and uh, soft and caramelized. And you're gonna find that you won't even notice that the skin or the seeds are in there once it's blended up. Okay, so now I'm going to go in my immersion blender and just kind of push these down and give them a bit of a blend. It can be a little bit messy. Look, you are going to get a few splashes. The trick is really just sit on top of the pump in there and just give it a little blend. Keep pushing down as you go um, and it will start to break up in the smaller bits. And once that happens, you'll find that it'll all come together and it'll blend a lot easier. Now I can already tell that this is going to need some more water. So I'm going to do that now. a little bit at a time. Just going to start breaking these bigger bits up into manageable pieces. Then as they get smaller you'll notice that we can start kind of stirring it around and uh, blending it up properly. So you can see this is still pretty thick so I'm actually going to need a bit more water. You could add more milk to this as well, or cream. Um, I've already added quite a lot, so I don't want them to make it too rich. Um, I don't really want to overpower the pumpkin flavor too much, because we already have some turmeric and nutmeg in there, um, which are both kind of powerful earthy flavors as well. Um, we really don't, we want it to complement pumpkin, not fight it. Mm. 
little bit more water. So now we just want to kind of pulse this a bit and start kind of getting it smooth. Um, there are still a few chunks in there. I mean, I like a little bit of uh, texture and chunk in my soup. Um, I find that a perfectly blended pumpkin soup can be a little bit boring to me. Look, it's personal preference, but this is how I like to make it. So this is thickening up quite a lot. So I am gonna go in with a bit more water. And we'll just keep incorporating this and uh, getting it nice and smooth. Okay, so we've uh, blended up our soup to a consistency that I like. You will notice there are a couple of small chunks of skin in there still. Look, don't worry too much. They're really soft from roasting and they're gonna be delicious. We're just gonna bring this back to a really gentle simmer. We're also gonna check for seasoning, see if we need to add any salt and I'm also gonna add some pepper in too. That is really good. Um, I did season or salt the potato, uh, pumpkin when I was roasting it. So to me, that doesn't need anything extra. Obviously you can season your own to taste, but again, we don't want to overpower the pumpkin here. The pumpkin is meant to be the star of the show. That's why it's pumpkin soup. So we just want to really complement it. Now in terms of cream and uh, yogurt levels there as well. That's brought a really rich, thick creaminess to it, um, given a really silky smooth taste, but also texture. Um, something that I really enjoy in pumpkin soup. Alright, so obviously you know the best way to serve your pumpkin soup is with some homemade sourdough. So that's what I've got here. Let's go in and have a try. So creamy. The pumpkin, huge flavour here. It's really not in your face, but very forward. Um, if you love pumpkin soup, this is one you definitely have to try. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and have dinner. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And I will see you next time. Bye.